Hello, my name is Susanna Lang. In a moment, you will hear the voice of Hélène Dorion reading the first poem in her most recent collection of poetry, Mes Forêts, My Forest, published in October 21 by Edition Bruno Ducey. Hélène Dorion began to write these poems several years earlier, wanting to delve into the forests that surrounded her and which you will see in the video as she reads. In 2020, kept at home by the pandemic, she recognized that the tree's immobility was taking root in us all. The poems are hymns of praise to the forest, but also warnings of their fragility, which mirrors our collective fragility. As the poet commented in La Tribune at the end of 2021, we see it in our societies. There is so much tension, illness, and distress. I believe that poetry has something to say to us in this very intimate and deep place that is open to disruption. We are living these disruptions almost one after another. The relationship with ourselves may be the first bond to repair. Hélène Dorion was born in Quebec in 1958. Her first poems appeared in 1981, and since then she has published more than 20 books of poetry and 15 artist books, in addition to works of fiction and memoir and a book-length essay on art and creation. She has written for young people as well as for adults. She has taught literature and creative writing, edited literary journals and anthologies, and directed audio recordings of poetry and music. In 2006, Édition de l'Hexagone published a retrospective of her poetry titled Monde Fragile, Choses Frêles, Fragile Worlds, Frail Things. That same year, she was elected to the Académie des Lettres du Québec and named Chevalier de l'Ordre National du Québec. Her work has earned many other honors and awards including the Governor General of Canada, the Prix Alain Grandbois, Aliénor Prize, the European Prix Sonror, and the Prix du Festival International de Poésie de Romagna. Dorion was the first Quebecer to receive the Mallarmé Prize in 2005 and the Prix Charles Vieuxprac in 2008. Library and Archives Canada has acquired her archives but she has a reach well beyond her home, as she has been translated and published in 15 countries. As a multidisciplinary artist, she has regularly shown her photography and collaborated with musicians and singers. In 2022, the Opéra de Montréal and the Opéra de Québec will present an opera that Dorion wrote with her close friend, Marie-Claire Blais, who died in 2021. Your Sonar, in Ile de Passion, focuses on the world of Marguerite Yourcenar, author of Memoir d'Adrien, The Memoirs of Hadrian, among many other works. After Hélène reads the original text of the first poem, I will read my translation of that poem and continue with two others that begin with the title phrase, Mes forêts. Mes forêts sont de longues traînées de temps. Elles sont des aiguilles qui percent la terre, déchirent le ciel avec des étoiles qui tombent comme une histoire d'orage. Elles glissent dans leur bleu un rayon vif de souvenirs, l'humus de chaque vie où se pose légère une aile qui va au cœur. Mes forêts sont des greniers peuplés de fantômes, un jardin de vent où se cognent les fruits d'une saison déjà passée qui s'en retourne vers demain. Mes forêts sont mes espoirs debout, un feu de brindilles et de mots que les ombres font craquer. Dans le reflet figé de la pluie, mes forêts sont des nuits très hautes. So here is the translation of that first poem. My forests are long trails of time. They are arrows that pierce the earth, tear the sky, with stars falling like a history of storm. They slip a bright ray of memories into the blue hour, the humus of each life where, lightly, rests a wing that reaches the heart. 
My forests are attics peopled with ghosts. They are the mass of unmoving voyages, a garden of wind knocking the fruit of a season already past that turns back to tomorrow. My forests are my upright hopes, a fire of twigs, and the words that the shadows spark in the rain's fixed reflection. My forests are nights raised high. These poems that begin Mes Forêts, My Forests, punctuate the collection, and each one is set off by a blank page. Here is the next one, end of the first section. Mes forêts sont un chant silencieux de naissance et de mort, la mémoire de saison qui se lève et retombe. Mes forêts sont du temps qui s'immisce à travers troncs, branches, racines. Elles traversent le feuillage du jour, capturent l'ombre, capturent l'éclat. Elles sont la solitude disséminée comme poussière de notre passage, une poignée de roches qui savent les âges. Mes forêts sont des traits de craie noire, les lettres désarticulées de mots inconnus de matin qui hésitent à venir. Elles sont des ossements que lèche l'invisible, une géométrie de souffle et de pas qui se perdent. Mes forêts sont lièvres et renards, jungles d'insectes qui scintillent, un soir d'été qu'on se libère. Elles sont coyotes, ours noirs, orignons, Citel, j'ai bleu, mes anges. Elles dorment nues, mes forêts, attendent le vent qui les fera tanguer comme des bêtes ivres qui marchent vers leurs racines. Si peu me fait vivre quand c'est plein d'étoiles et que s'avance le poème. My forests are a silent field of births and deaths the memory of seasons that rise and fall back. My forests are time that reaches through trunk, branch, root. They move through daylight leaves, seize the shadow, seize the shimmer. They are solitude dispersed like the dust of our passage, a handful of rocks that have known the ages. My forests are traces of black chalk, Letters detached from unknown words, from a morning slow to appear. They are bones licked by the invisible, a geometry of lost breaths and steps. My forests are hares and foxes, jungle of glittering insects, a summer evening while still in winter. They are coyote, black bear, moose, nuthatch, blue jay. Chickadee. They sleep naked, my forests. They wait for the wind that will make them roll like drunken beasts marching toward their roots. So little makes me live when it is full of stars and the poem moves forward. And this is the last poem in the collection. Mes forêts sont de longues tiges d'histoire. Elles sont des aiguilles qui tournent à travers les saisons. Elles vont d'est en ouest jusqu'au sud et tout au nord. Mes forêts sont des cages de solitude, des lames de bois clair semées dans la nuit rare. Elles sont des maisons sans famille, des corps sans amour, qui attendent qu'on les retrouve. Au matin, elles sont des ratures et des repentirs. Un boule dans la gorge quand les oiseaux recommencent à voler. Mes forêts sont des doigts qui pointent des ailleurs sans retour. Elles sont des épines dans tous les sens, ignorant ce que l'âge résout. Elles sont des lignes au crayon, sur papier de temps, portent le poids de la mer, le silence des nuages. Mes forêts sont un long passage pour nos mots d'exil et de survie. Un peu de pluie sur la blessure, un rayon qui dure dans sa douceur, et quand je m'y promène, 
C'est pour prendre le large de moi-même. My forests are long shafts of history. They are hands that turn to the seasons. They go from east to west, even south, and all the way north. My forests are cages of solitude, scattered blades of wood in the rare night. They are houses with no family, bodies with no love. They wait for us to find them. In the morning, they are erasures and retractions. A lump in the throat when the birds fly again. My forests are fingers pointing. They are elsewheres with no return. They are thorns in every direction ignoring what age resolves. They are lines drawn in pencil on the paper of time. They carry the sea's weight, the cloud's silence. My forests are a long passage for our words of exile and survival, a little rain falling on the wound, a ray of light that lingers in its sweetness. And when I walk in my forests, it is to take off toward myself. Thank you.